Hey there YouTube, it's Brad the Bearded Piper and I hope you all are having a great day. I am sitting out on the deck enjoying some Gawith and Hogarth Balkan mixture in my Aldo Villani. We're going to call it a slightly bent, oh let's just go with billiard. Um, I don't know if that might be a chimney or not. It's a nice big ball. And it's been a while since I've had anything outside of a burly blend. I've been smoking a lot of burlies. Throw a Virginia in there every once in a while. Uh, while I've been working during the day, a lot of Carter Hall and Prince Albert. So um, this really is hitting the spot. It's just really, really, really hitting the spot. So I'm going to set this down so I can talk to you about what came in this package. So this originally was going to be an unpackaging video. However, my camera got knocked over, the dogs were barking, I got a phone call, and it was just a lot easier to start anew after I had all this stuff packaging taken out than it was to try to edit that video um, with all of the bloopers that were in the middle of it. So a few weeks ago, I was watching Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey on YouTube, and they were interviewing a gentleman by the name of Tyler Edwards, and Tyler owns Lavoie's Leathers, and um, I really liked Tyler. Uh, he was talking about his experience at the Chicago Pipe Show. Um, he was showing his leather goods that, that he had with him, and they were just all, they looked fantastic, and uh, they were just great, great looking products, and Tyler seems like a really cool guy. So I reached out to him on Instagram, which is where you, how you would contact him. Um, he's Lavoie's Leathers, I think it's just Lavoie's Leathers. I'll leave a link down below to the uh, Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey video that he was on, their interview, and uh, Tyler's Instagram handle. So since I started smoking my pipe again back in September of 2022, I have been wanting Leather Valley trees. And I am a sucker for brown leather. And Tyler has some of the best looking valet trays that I have seen on the internet. Now this is, uh, this is what's really cool to me is the size of these. They're not huge. Um, and I bought two of them, one to go in my messenger bag and one to keep at home. And he includes these little leather straps here to roll them up and tie them up. Now, here is the met or here is the valet tray itself without it being snapped now these do snap and i'll tell you what tyler's prices are fantastic um i'm not going to give them in case they've changed because you know by the time you when you watch this video it could be in 2024 it could be 2025 and prices may have changed and and i don't i don't want to do that to tyler just fantastic like prices um, and they came with the snaps on the edge so you can turn it into a, a little bit of a bowl and what I really like about this and why I've wanted one of these I use a it's a tray it's a serving tray it's a shape of a squirrel you've seen it before I've used it on videos before um, but it has lips on the side and it's really difficult to get the tobacco from the tray back into the jar where with these you can open this up, unsnap it, and then take it like this and fold it and then dump that back into the jar or into your Frankenstein jar. And that's what I call my leftovers. Um, anything I have left over that's not a full bowl or if I have um, some in the, the uh, so if I have some that's left over in the tray, sometimes I'll put it in my leftovers jar and I'm gonna call it the Frankenstein jar because that's what Smarty Bob calls his. And Smarty Bob is obviously very smart. It says it right in his name, Smarty Bob. So I'm gonna call mine Frankenstein mixture as well. So these are, these are wonderful. They're very flexible. Um, the size is perfect. Uh, they're not huge. They're not too small. They are just, to me, they are the perfect size. And I will show a picture here of the uh, of the the valley tray with the uh, with the Zippo inside, so you can get an idea of how big it is. And uh, you know, he has embossed inside uh, the silhouette of Texas with two cursive L's in it, but I don't think my camera is gonna be good enough for you to see it. Um, they are just 
wonderful, wonderful valet trays. I, I can't say enough more about it. Um, they're, they're probably, I have to be honest, they, they probably are one of, if not my absolute favorite pipe accessory that I have bought so far. Um, I really do like my Nutsack Messenger bag um, that I bought. Um, but uh, that, that is fantastic for, for carrying my pipes. Um, but these are right up there. Um, they're just, they're really nice and I can't wait to uh, put them into my daily routine, especially with flakes. Although if you put your mason jar over top of this and fill your bowl and all the extras fall in here, you can dump it into your Frankenstein jar or back into the jar or, or the tin that it came out of. So. Um, Tyler, thank you very much. I really do like these. And for everybody else out there, I am not sponsored <laughs> at all. I just, uh, I just from my, my interactions with Tyler, both on Instagram and watching him on the video, he, he just genuinely seems like a good man. And, um, you know, I like to support the, uh, I like to support the small, the small guys as they're up and coming, but I have a feeling that Tyler's going to hit it big with these, um, with, with it, not just these, I mean, the, these are valet trays, but he has some other nice items as well. So check him out again, link below to his Instagram handle, um, and a link below to the pipes, tobacco and whiskey channel the video that they interviewed him so that's it my friends uh, i know I, I just went on what s almost seven minutes talking about uh, a, a the leather valet tray but i really really do like them so um until we talk again remember it is better to pack your pipe light than it is to pack your pipe tight